Hi again. Uh, today we're back. Uh, we're going to make some more materials in Unreal Engine. Thought like a glossy metallic sort of material, similar to a car paint job, uh, would be would be pretty fun to make. And fairly simple. All you need is a noise normal map. All I've done is just rendered some noise in Photoshop, and then used a, a small free program called X Normal to to render this out. Uh, it, it's free to download. I'll put a link in the description. And secondly, I thought. Uh, because I don't have a car mesh, I thought that wouldn't be fair because, you know, we're, we're testing things out that anybody can do. And if you don't see engine content in your in your content browser here, uh, find something like the floor and open up the, uh, the, like the mesh selection, the view window, head down to view options and click show engine content. Oh. And it's destroyed our floor, but we can undo that. And we should see the engine content below shows up in the in the browser and then find that preview the material preview model which is pretty cool shows off some angles and some curves an ideal sort of way to to display materials so we'll drop one of those in the scene and then we'll make our first material and I call this one Power paint. Cool. We'll open that up. And the trick to making this work, to making the gloss happen over the metallic, is by changing this material node here and finding the use material attributes option, checking that, and we'll lose sort of the bulk of it down to just this one node where it's just going to take in some material attributes. And we can make material attributes with the make material attributes node. Simple, simple so far. So we'll need two of them, one for gloss and one for the uh, the paint job, the, the metallic paint job. And we're going to blend them together. So we'll right click, type in matte layer blend. And we want matte layer blend simple. So let's uh, just to demonstrate how this works. Now we'll head back to the content browser. Well, first we'll save the material. Even though there's nothing there at the moment. And then head back to the content browser. And we'll just right click our car paint material and hit create material instance. We'll drop that onto our display sphere, onto the preview sphere. So then back in the material, let's uh, have a play with how this works. So just make two colors for now. We'll go with a solid red and a solid blue. And over here with our blend layer, we'll plug that into the final material. And we'll also put a constant in the alpha and set it to 0 0.5. And plug in the blue and the red to the base color of the make material attributes nodes. And then plug them into the layer blend. And our result? Purple. Because red and blue make purple. So we're, we're on track. All right, so uh, the first thing that we'll make, we'll keep these two colors around because we'll do our, our metal surface first. And we'll need another one of these as our shade. I'm going to keep it black. So we'll promote these guys. This is our tint shade. This one will be our tint two. And the red. Tint one. And we'll make it, we'll make a, these are the colors that I'll use for the, for the demo, just like a red, a red paint job. So our first tint will be kind of a lighter red, more of an orange. And our second tint will be, we'll just make it fully red. So we need to lerp the shade in with our first tint. And then our second tint in with the result of the first one. And for an alpha, we'll be using a Fresnel function. And we're going to set the power with a constant to 2. We can preview what these do, like right click and hit start previewing. And see the, the sort of effect, the, the mask that we're going to be using. And this is going to be plugged into the alpha of both of our laps. Which will then go into the base color 
of our paint job material, giving us some nice depth. A good place to start for metallic. Speaking of, we need another constant set to 1, and this will be our metallic. And for the final metallic sort of look, we'll create ourselves a texture object by holding T and clicking. This is our noise material. And we're going to muck about with its texture coordinates to uh, just to, to set it up so that it looks good from a distance and it's uh, it will also eventually be used as our as our mask between the two between these two layers. So we'll just set our multiplier. The noise is going to create that sort of flaky texture in the in the paint job. So we'll call this the flake scale, which I've got set to twelve. And this heads into another multiply node and another parameter, call this one lake size. And this will be plugged straight into the normal of our metal material, getting us this final result. Next thing, uh, we'll make the we'll make the gloss, which is fairly simple. We'll need these two nodes from earlier the Fresnel function and this constant, but the constant will set back to one and we'll put it into a multiply node and into another scalar parameter. We call this one the roughness power. And then that goes into our roughness. And we can see how that looks this way. By previewing that node, just gets our glossy finish. Very shiny. And we can also preview the result of our metal. Brush metal finish. Very nice. You can see the texture if you get up really close. So by manipulating these two parameters, we can change the, the final finish. You can get like a really rough metal look if you like, or you can make it totally smooth. Then instead of this constant as our alpha for the final material, and we can stop previewing that now, See, at the moment, they're not interacting with each other in the way that we, that we want them to. So we're going to use a third Fresnel function to fix this for us. This time we'll need, we'll need a Boolean, because we have to set a Boolean value, the invert Fresnel option, which we'll set to true. Then we need another lerp. That's the wrong lerp. What am I doing? You can just hold an L and click. And we'll take the result of this multiply from our normal map. As the B value, we'll leave the alpha at 0 0.5. But we'll plug the results of the lerp into the alpha of our layer blend. And there you have it. There is our final result. So hopefully I explained this in a fairly succinct way. Uh, hopefully you can follow uh, what's going on. Just the simple combination of two different materials uh, masked by this normal map and a Fresnel function. And that's that's all there is to it. And now, well, we can see it here in, in real time being rendered on our sphere. Very cool looking material. And when we open up the instance, we can play with these values. So we can even change the, like the shadow color. Get some interestingly colored highlights going on. Or we can change the paint job entirely and let's say make ourselves a nice vibrant bright blue and so some of the values that i'm playing with here i generally set the, the roughness power to minus 10. that was the that was the value i ended up with just to get that extra that extra reflect reflectivity reflectiveness man sometimes i don't know words and we can see it here so it's just got it's it's much much shinier with roughness set to negative 10. And we can also muck around with the brushed metal finish. We can play with these two values, the flake scale. For example, we can set that quite low and make it appear extremely rough. And the flake size we can put up to make it look rougher, to make it look bumpier. So you can really get some interesting sort of results with this. And it's fairly, it's fairly simple in its construction. So rather versatile. I like it for, for body paint finishes. 
if you want to see an example of this where I have used it on an actual car mesh, uh, you could check out this piece on ArtStation. There'll be a, a link in the description below and have a closer look at, at some of the things, you know, a closer look at how it, how it appears on an actual car. So that's, the, uh, that's all I got for you today, people. I'll catch you next time.